All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And uh, today, going over once again to the Colonel, having a look at the Export Stout London 1890 7.5% ABV. I think I have reviewed this on the channel quite a while ago. Um, so if I have, it's nice to have a, a re-review. And uh, yeah, from what I remember, because I have drank it before, definitely have, but there, there is um, a darker beer on my YouTube channel from ages ago, and it was like the only Colonel beer up till me making that order fairly recently, which is mental, absolutely mental. So uh, yeah, export stout, clocking in, 7.5% brewed on the 20, well, bottled on the 21st of January, 2021. So, excuse the snibbles and the fact that I've got like a, a 70s, com 70s comedian's haircut. It's a way of talent. Can't find me bottle openers. They are somewhere. But I've, a bit, I've had a habit of putting stuff in boxes and just putting them away. So, sorry Adam. Anyway. So, look at that. Very nice. Oh, won't pour any more because look at that. Quite a head on that. Just look how condensed and creamy yet foamy that head is. And uh, yeah, pretty much in this lighting anyway, jet black. But I'm sure um, it could be just like a really dark, intense brown. I'm not too sure. But it, needless to say, it looks good in the glass. So let's see if we can get a nose through that head. Oh, yeah. It's just what a beautiful concoction of different sort of malt profiles. You get that slight steeped fruit character. You get a lovely sort of like... Um, drinking chocolate aroma there's a hint of like an almost espresso like coffee with a little bit of a a mustiness to it as well sort of like an old book oh, it smells so just so nice and comforting and inviting oh, let's, let's give it a taste Cheers, folks. Wow. That is wonderful. Although you don't get it too much on the nose, there's just this gorgeous, gorgeous smokiness to it. Like quite a char flavour in there as well. The Big Fog. Was it London that they called the Big Fog? Or is there a different place that's called the Big Fog? I can't remember. But, um, yeah. I've got London's burning in my head. Oh. Bullshit. Tasting note. Alert. Taste industrious. <laughs> Nice savoury woodiness there. Almost like a charred barrel character. Medium mouthfeel. Leaves a nice sort of coating on your palate as well. I mean, just look at that. Just clinging to the side of the glass. And when you get a bit of that foam in there, smoothens the body out a little bit God, this, this is just good no nonsense like classic sort of brewing <laughs> now i'm not too sure if recipe changes 
uh, or adapts to you know ingredients and that sort of thing to what's available at the time or they specifically make a point of getting the, the right ingredients so they can brew this uh, on a regular basis but just the quality of this beer is absolutely remarkable in the sort of landscape of big sort of gimmicky adjunct riddled stouts just taking a step back and enjoying just a proper it's not old school per se but it's just this sort of like no nonsense simple competent brewing which is something you know that the colonel are loved for and uh, yeah, I think I've said it every time I've done a kernel review. I've probably made made that point every time I've done a kernel review recently. Although I'm going to try and spread them out a bit. So it's not just a bombardment of kernel, which isn't a bad thing because I would just, I'd recommend this brewery so, so much to those who haven't had anything. But I think by now, a lot of people pretty much love the kernel anyway. It's so good. Their dark beers are just wonderful. I had the um, the Baltic Porter last night. Stomach's made a weird noise. And that was just beautiful as well. Um, in fact, I've got some empties here, actually, of my recent uh, drinkings. Well, that's what I'm drinking now. Uh, and then, of course, on the pale, the Ella. Which, by the way, I'm not sure how I'm going to organize these uh reviews but um yeah you'll be you'll, you'll be seeing probably by now a few, a few kernel beers on the channel and there will be a few more because i've got a good bulk of uh beers to get through primarily well not primarily there's still uh some darker ones but um yeah this is just you know you have that beer and you think why didn't i pick up a couple or a few and it's one of those beers where if you're going to be ordering and you want some Colonel beers and you don't, let's say you don't necessarily want to do a full order from Colonel because, um, you know, you want to try all sorts of different breweries and that sort of thing, which is something that I do uh, quite a lot. Um, but I, I don't know, I've just, I've just been rarely enjoying buying direct from breweries recently. Um made a cloud water order earlier today actually first thing this morning uh, so hopefully it comes here tomorrow or the day after and uh yeah they had some like really good sort of like new releases they're in the middle of the well towards the end of the sort of like troubles season but i was like eh, i'm sure those beers are going to blow my absolute bollocks off but i thought let's get few cans of the pale ale, a few cans of the hellas, get maybe one double IPA or something like that. And um, yeah, there's just something so nice about drinking the same beer multiple times. Now, it's not a good nor a bad thing whether you do that or don't, because, you know, I, when I buy beer, I, I do like to, you know, try different breweries. Um, I'd like to think... That I've sort of like stopped seeking out like the latest release from a brewery, although it does happen. But um, yeah, that that's the great thing about a brewery like the Colonel, especially if you go onto their their website. By the way, Colonel have have no way, you know, got in touch with me or anything like that. Because why would any sort of company or brewery reach out to a person who only gets like about twenty views per video? Um. Hashtag ad. Uh, but yeah, it's just when I come across something that I really, really enjoy. I might repeat myself. But. I just kick myself with a brewery like the Colonel. Because every time I've had them, whether it be picking bottles up from a bottle shop, having them on tap. I've just had a really satisfying experience. Uh, bar one or two beers at this point. But you know what? 
even some of my favorite other favorite breweries i've had beers so i'm like this this isn't really that good at all but um what point am i trying to make here i don't know i'm just i feel like i should actually make a, a video on this sort of subject at some point maybe a part of my monday musing part of my part of my part of my monday musings um because i've just I've just sort of fell in love with the Colonel. Good name for a, a song that or a lyric. But um yeah, and I just I just like the fact that it's like we'll, we'll brew what we want. That's what I like about breweries like Chapter. Um that's why I like breweries like Torside, who really do not get the recognition that they deserve. In fact, I've not really seen too much Torside uh recently. But it's just about brewing really good beer. And uh, yeah, IPA-wise, I've had a couple of hazy sort of like IPAs from uh, the Colonel. But then again, you know, they've been brewing sort of bottle condition beers throughout their sort of existence, really, haven't they? So you, you've been getting like, like a clout, like a sludge of sediment in bottles and cloudiness and things like that. But I don't know, it's just... It's just nice, do you know what I mean? And um, yeah, this this beer just right now, even though I've still got a few more to review, this sort of like epitomizes why I enjoy breweries like the Colonel, breweries like Siren. Um, who and I'm not saying this on sort of like the perception of others, but it's sort of my experience. And yeah, needless to say, you'll be seeing more from me. And you'll be hearing me saying this through a chapter I've reviewed, so it doesn't really matter at this point, does it? But yeah, I know I should be supporting local and things like that, but every now and then, it's just nice to give a good bulk of your beer money to one brewery if you like them. And uh, I wasn't taking a chance on this order that I made because I knew for a fact that I'd enjoy them. And the prices, my God, the prices were really, really good. And uh, you're going to get interest in beers no matter when you order from them. Because sometimes I've ordered from breweries and it's like, yeah, I really want that beer. But there's nothing else right now that I want to sort of justify making an order. It's weird, isn't it, how, like, sort of spending habits um, come across. And I think uh, with the whole C word and lockdowns and things like that, I think it has just made me be a little bit more sort of, like, thoughtful um, and conscientious of my, like, buying habits, if that makes sense. But anyway... I digress. This beer, it's it's a classic. It's just so, so good. And um, if you haven't tried it yet, you really, really need to, sell, need to do yourself a, a justice and pick it up because it's just an absolute cracker of a beer. Lovely, lovely stuff indeed. So if you have tried it, I'd love to hear thoughts opinions down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Colonel. What's some of your favourite beers? And uh, as always in the description, I put all social media links as... Oh, God, that's a weird noise. As well as their web shop. Highly, highly recommended. And, uh, yeah, I just need them to put some glassware and merchandise. Mind you, they have some nice totes. So I might buy another tote for the, uh, the very awkward tote wall, <laughs> which has now become a backdrop. But, um, yeah, and i uh, going to be going to London uh, later this year for the London Craft Beer Festival. So, fingers crossed, at some point, uh, we'll be able to make uh, allowances to go, well, to go to the Bermondsey Beer Mile, really. Um, and plus, you know, you don't have to go to every session at a beer festival. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But, um, yeah, there will be more purchases and reviews on the channel from the kernel and i've nearly finished this already 
Mm. Oh, it's just so good. So, so, so good. That's all I've got left, so it's going to make a really crap thumbnail. Anyway, so yeah, cheers for watching. Cheers for sitting here while I ramble. And um, paying tribute to my 70s comedian. Well, well, you don't you don't really see too many 70s comedian wearing like an oversized denim work shirt and a sweatshirt, but hair and glasses and the, the double chin. Um, I've got a 70s style joke that I think is genius but whenever I tell it to people they're like oh you don't, don't really get that I think you have to do it in this sort of like um, a northern like working men's club accent um, which should I do that now or should I just say it normally anyway I'd be a great stand up this would be part of my routine um here we go. That's why I don't do impressions either. I had a curry last night. And then I sat here doing I'm not going to tell you the joke. I'm going to leave you in suspense. Anyway. No. <laughs> this isn't an act, by the way. This is just me being a fucking idiot. And uh, I've not drank today. Oh, I, look at that. The man breast crease. Um, I can't remember my own fucking joke that I made. This is really hard to watch, I'm sure it is. And there's a hole in the door. Well, it's, no, it's not actually. It's just the, the knot of wood. It looked like a tiny little hole uh, for my tiny little glory hole, I suppose you could call it. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell a joke. I'm very self-conscious now. <laughs> I'm joking. Basically, the joke is, I had a vegetarian curry last night. It was nice, but there were people in it. Think about it. Think about it. It's a shit joke, I know. See you guys later.